What's up YouTube? Welcome to another day in another video. Now this one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna start off with a rant. I know. Just just follow along. See, I don't know about you guys, but I'm from this place. This is Nigeria. See, in a typical Nigerian family, when you're getting shit, you got one option. But my family was anything but typical. Every time I got in trouble, my dad would call me to his room and give me a speech. It would go something like, Edward, you have to learn to stand on your own. Remember, if you give a man a fish, he will eat for a day. But if you teach a man to fish, he will eat for a lifetime. Clearly, my dad had one too many fortune cookies. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna teach you how to fish. But on a real note, I'm gonna teach you guys a new skill. And that new skill is how to make a lyric video. Now before we start, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video, and share. It's that simple. So before we start, we're gonna need one thing. For every lyric video, you need a song. So for this part of the video, I enlisted the help of a friend. This is George. George is a producer slash DJ from Ottawa. <laughs> Honestly, we've written some good songs together, so I'm gonna hit him up and see if he's down to help. Yo. Yo. You down to make a song? I'm down. All right. So after about an hour of writing and singing and editing, we ended up with this. How can I find you? When I smoke that weed, I'm close to you When I drink that drink, I'm holding you You're the only place I'm comfortable Girl, you're making me so vulnerable When I smoke that weed, I'm close to you When I drink that drink, I'm holding you You're the only place I'm comfortable Girl, you're making me so vulnerable Cause I'm a mess since you left me, yeah And I don't have your body near me, no Baby, you're my home If you don't love me right now I just hope that you can lie to Premiere Pro. So the first thing you want to do is you want to import your audio. In my case, you know, it was a song that me and George created. If you guys liked it, make sure to uh, subscribe, like the video, and turn your post notifications on. So now that we have it imported, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a background for it because we want the text to be on something. So we're going to create a color layer. So we're going to go down to the corner and we're going to go to a new item and then we're going to go to color. So we're gonna press OK. We're gonna pick a color. I'm not gonna do the exact color I picked for the last video just because, well, you know, it was random, but I just knew it was gonna be purple just because it's my favorite color. So we're gonna go to OK. Then we're gonna press OK again. So now we're gonna take this layer and we're gonna drag it in. Right here. So for the sake of the video, I know it's, I want it to be as long as the video. So what I will do is I'm gonna go take it and then I'm going to drag it all the way to the end of the audio clip. Boom. So now I have this matte color. So now I have audio and I have my matte background. What I need to focus on next is I need to create, you know, text. So I would listen to this section first. So I know right there it says, how come I find you? So. What I need to do now is take text and then I just need to, for each specific word, you need to open a new text box. So I know it's how and then come and then I then find you. So I know it's how come I find you. 
It's the next thing. So what I need to do now is I need to make the text look how I want, I want it to look basically. So for the sake of this specific video, I'm not gonna do the exact thing I did for the last one, but I will show you, you know, it's basically standard. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click the exact text box that I want to work on first. I'm gonna go to right here at the bottom, at text. And then, um, let's go with, with that. Just for this, for this sake right now, we're just gonna go with that. So now that we have that, what we wanna do now is we wanna change the color just to fit it. Um, for the video, I just thought purple and, um, and yellow would be, you know, really complementary to each other. So I went down here again to the color picker, picked a shade of yellow, pressed okay, now I had that. But I figured out that wasn't enough because I wanted it to kind of pop. So I added a shadow. To my shadow, I thought blue would really go well, like a, a light baby blue would go well with the yellow. So I did that, and as you can see, there's already a background form behind there. So I would take that and then I would, sorry, right here, I would increase it just a tad, you know, to create some dimension. As you can see, boom, it already looks better. What I can do now is I can increase the size of it right here and then boom, how. So now I have how. So for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna do the same for each one just because it's a lot of work. Um, so I'm gonna go how, so now that I have all this, and once this is all done, yeah, yeah, and, and they've all been changed, I would arrange them. So I personally liked arranging them in a specific way. Um, I can either do it like this. I can take. I can take this, and I can change. I can change it. So a good way to change um, it from horizontal to to vertical would be here, which is I know it's ninety degrees. So I would change that, and it would switch it to here. So now I take it. And I would drag it right beside it. So now I have how come, and then I could take the eye. Oh, sorry, I didn't make it. So a good way to also handle size is to is to get a corner, but I can't seem to catch a corner. But I'll just do it here. So actually, here we go. So catch a corner. There we go. Got it. So then I'll take it down to here. I have how come I. And then I can take find, and I can take you. So now I have, how come I find you? I definitely could make this come look a little bit bigger just to you know make it more of a box. So I'm just going to increase the size just a little bit. Let's say like there, or there, whatever. Good enough. So. Now I have everything for the next line. So next line goes, how can I find you? So what I need to do now is arrange it based on that. So, hold on a second. Um, so, Sorry, I just unplug it just so you guys can hear the audio, which would probably be better for you guys to follow through with. <laughs> so, this area goes. So, I know it starts there, so I'm gonna pull this back a little bit. So you can do it that way. That's one way to do it. You could just have it all open up at once. Or, what you can do is also have it appear one at a time. So I know you stopped right here, so I'm just gonna cut this excess part. Go back here, delete that. <laughs> so, find you. so if I need each of them to appear one at a time, I need to have them have each, have their own section. So I'm gonna hold Alt, and I'm just gonna drag it up one. See, so now I have that. So I'm gonna go back to here. So for the first one, all I need right now is the first word to appear. So it's how. So what I would do is just take each of these out. Oh, sorry, wrong file. Correction. Boom, 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 boom. 
So we have this here. So how? How is only to appear there, which is what we want. So now, we need to recreate it again for the next word to come in. So we would hold Alt again, drag it up, and then this is, the hard part about this honestly is the, like listening to it, because you have to find exactly where the word starts so it flows properly. So I know it's, so it comes about to start right there. So I would go and I would take this and I would drag it right back there. So now I'll take this layer, now that I want the word come, so how, how come? So I would open it here, so now it should appear when I look at it. See, how come? I would repeat the process. So I basically just repeat the process as many times as I need for it to appear. Now, another way for it to appear rather than just popping in a flickering motion is I can add a wipe effect so that it like just slides into the frame. So I would go to effects, check the effects down here, um, and then I would go wipe. So, give me a second, wipe. So I'd wipe here, so I would take it and I would drag it to here, for example. So I wanted to wipe in, so now it would be, see how it just slid in instead. So that's how I also did that. The next thing, that you guys are probably curious about is how I got the motion graphic. Honestly, that's super easy. I actually used a site. Excuse me here. Uh, hold up, where is it? Let's give it a second. So open up anytime soon. So this right here is where I found the answer. I didn't actually find it on Pinterest, but I found it on Google. Um, and once you find it on Google, it's just as easy as just downloading it to your computer. And then you could just drag it right in. And the moment that happens, it just easily goes in. Dancer. Dancer GIF or dance GIF, like sometimes I can do would be right here where I have this. See? That's that's kind of interesting. So I could go. It's as simple as going. And then I would look to see if I can download the file right into my computer. So save image to download. So right there. Boom. That easy. I would go back to here. I'd move back. File. File. Import, download, and then once you get to downloads, it's honestly just as easy as looking for it. If my download loads, just give me a second. So now I just have to scroll down and look for it. So I see it right here. I would import it. So now that it's imported, I can take it and I can drag it right on top and boom. I mean, that's, that's not the vibe, but same thing, same concept for what I did for the end, for the chorus, just to add like a GIF and a motion graphic that's there. Honestly, guys, um, it's really simple to do this. Like I said, the only hard part I would say is, um, is the time that you have to put in to learn how to do it and actually execute it. Like the whole video that I did right there took me some time. Um, I've gotten faster with it, but I mean, as a newcomer, it might take you some time to do it, but honestly, it's a really cool thing to do. You can um, make lyric videos for yourself or for your friends, you know, save yourself a lot of time and trust a lot of money, because lyric videos aren't cheap. But um, yeah, guys, that's basically it. There's nothing to it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like this. Like I said before, sub, turn your post notifications on down below. And uh, honestly, guys, I just want to remind you to adventure more, worry less. Uh, we're gonna be coming up with more content of different varieties and I promise we will eventually be going out to do more physical things and getting more physical footage. Uh, we're just currently in a lockdown here um, in Ontario, but it is being lifted very soon. So guys, um, I guess that's the end of the video. I'll catch you later.